hi welcome back to pink or tarot my name is z if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting the channel um if you're interested in following me on social media you can you can follow me on instagram at pink or tarot also if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me um currently i'm having a special which is 20 dollars for six questions so if you're interested in booking that all of the info is listed down below in the description box so virgo let's see um what you guys need to hear right now so i'm using the um oracle of the unicorns i think i'm saying it wrong but yes the unicorn deck right here so i'm gonna pull one one card for you guys what messages do you have for virgo sun moon rising and venus okay we got growth so this is really good so we got growth and it says the Virgo, it says, seek out a mentor or guide, take baby steps as you grow, be willing to learn from others. So yeah, for some of you guys, you're, um, it's like, you could be growing in any aspect of your life. It's like, you're not staying the same. So you could be seeking out guidance or you could have a mentor, or you could also be a guide or a mentor for somebody else. But, um, whatever this growth is for you it's just like take it slow like don't rush it and also to be willing to learn from others it's like don't be um afraid to ask for guidance or um seek out a mentor clarify growth clarify growth Clarify growth. Okay. Hmm. So we have the Queen of Wands here. Somebody could be doing the fire sign here. But with this Queen of Wands, like this Queen of Wands is like all about growth here. You see, she has like the she has like sunflowers and stuff um <clears throat> behind her like she's all about growth so for some of you guys i feel like um see you could be i feel like it's queen of swords i mean not queen of swords but this queen of wands could be some sort of mentor for somebody here like i feel like she knows about growth here um and then we have the four of pentacles so I do feel like this is about self-improvement for somebody here. For some of you guys, you could be needing to seek out a mentor or like a guide or something. I don't know. This could be about somebody's career. Yeah, with this Four of Pentacles, it's like, um, I feel like this Four of Pentacles person could be needing to seek out a mentor or a guide. But then it's like with the temperance being low, below that, it's like be patient with it. Be patient with yourself also too. Clarify growth. Wow. We got the hangman came out in reverse. So when he comes out in reverse, that means he be he becomes enlightened here about um I feel like you somebody could have been waiting here to um somebody could have been waiting for some type of growth here too with the hangman in reverse, but we got the ten of swords. So it's like somebody could be going through like a rebirth too, or it's like a, it was like an ending to something here. But I feel like somebody's growing, like somebody learned their lesson here, or it's like you were dealing with somebody. Um, and it's like you learned from them here for whatever this is. I feel like somebody learned their lesson, especially with the hangman being in reverse. Somebody became enlightened here. And I feel like it could have been, um, it could have been somebody that someone was dealing with in the past or just like someone's childhood, the past. Clarify growth. So we got the six of pentacles that came in. So with this right here, I feel like somebody could be wanting to, um, I feel 
like somebody realized here with this hangman in reverse that they need to um, seek out some type of support or you could be um, the support for somebody here. But it's like somebody's giving um, information or some type of support here from somebody. So it could be you or another person. Clarify growth. Wow, the two of cups, it was just at the bottom of the deck. We got the two of cups here. So it could be about a connection here. Somebody that you have an emotional bond with, it could be a fire sign. So an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be. But we got the um, the five of swords at the bottom of the deck too. For some of y'all, I feel like somebody outgrew. Um, somebody could have outgrown someone also too. So somebody could have been done with the fire sign. I feel like it could have been a Leo. Clarify growth. Okay. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune card here too. That came out. So this is definitely like a shift or a change that happened here within a with a connection here. And I feel like it led to some type of disappointment. See, I feel like somebody learned from someone here. Because it says be willing to learn. But with this growth card, it's just letting me know that this reading is about growth like the message wow we got the seven the seven of pentacles just flew out i didn't even shuffle the cards but yeah i feel like this was like a situation or a connection that somebody was like investing in like they were putting a lot of time and energy into something here and i feel like in like somebody um didn't see it grow or they were like reevaluating here what a connection. What's the hangman in reverse? What's the hangman in reverse? Wow, the two yeah, the um not I said the two of pentacles. The lovers card came out in reverse. Somebody became enlightened here about um a partnership or a connection here that I feel like somebody was like trying to work on it but it's like somebody outgrew somebody here clarify the six of pentacles And the Queen of Cups. Somebody could have been dealing with a Leo, like I had said, a fire sign or um, a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio here. But I feel like whatever this um, partnership was or a relationship, it's like, I feel like it caused somebody a lot of stress. It's like somebody was, I feel like somebody was putting in all of the work. One person wasn't. It's like maybe it wasn't an equal give and take between two people here. What's the two of cups? Wow, we got the emperor here. See, I feel like somebody's about to take charge here. Um... With this emperor, somebody could be done with the Aries, but um, I feel like it could be your energy, Virgo. Like you're coming in as the emperor and I feel like somebody's about to, um, I feel like somebody could have ended a, um, a relationship or a partnership here because we got the judgment card here too. Or this could definitely be somebody coming back from the past with a judgment, but I feel like somebody made like a really um, big decision here. Because it was like something that somebody was investing in. So it could have been a person. Yeah, I feel like somebody rejected um, like a partnership where they were like unsatisfied with. 
Like somebody made a, a decision here about ending a partnership. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, we got the Three of Swords. So something definitely shifted or changed with a partnership or um, a relationship here with this Three of Swords. It could have been some type of deception too with the Three of Swords. But with this Six of Wands, it's like, see, I feel like this could be you, Virgo, or it could be another person. It's like this person is like coming out victorious here because it's like one person. I feel like somebody learned from this um partnership or relationship with the six of wands this is like somebody who has grown or they experienced some type of growth what's the seven of what's the seven of pentacles like somebody was unsatisfied in a relationship or a partnership what's the seven of pentacles Try again. What's the seven of pentacles? What's the seven of pentacles? Okay, we got temperance. I don't know why I couldn't really shuffle the cards, but we got temperance here. Somebody could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, but I feel like somebody was like being very patient here with whatever this um partnership or relationship was with seven the seven of pentacles and temperance but um it seems like somebody's leaving somebody behind also too because it's like they were like investing in something here and it's like now they're like sitting here reevaluating um the connection here and i feel like somebody could have taken a long time to commit to somebody too let's clarify growth Clarify growth. Wow, we got Healer of the Ages. So this could be like past energy, um, Virgo. For some of you guys, I feel like somebody's like um, healing from a connection here. It's like you learned your lesson from this person here. They definitely caused somebody some type of deception here. And there could have been some hostilities going on too with hostilities at the bottom of the deck. Clarify growth. Clarify growth. Wow, we got the world. See, somebody's expanding here. We got the world and then we got envy too. See, somebody was like unsatisfied. So I don't know, somebody was dealing with a partner here, but somebody became enlightened about a partnership here. And it could have been a fire sign. Clarify growth. Why we got action. So either you, um, Virgo, or somebody else. I feel like somebody, like some, one person is growing, but one person isn't. And this could be about commitment, too. There could have been some um, hostilities about someone committing, too. Um, it's like maybe somebody was taking a long time. Clarify growth. Actually, I'm going to pull, because this is like about a relationship or a partnership. So I'm going to do um, a romance angel card, clarify growth.
clarify growth. Wow, we got healing family issues. So this could be for somebody who's like on a spiritual um, journey also too. We got religious factors right here too. Um, it's like somebody has like out, outgrown a partnership. We got family, healing family issues. I feel like somebody was in a partnership that was not growing. And it's like it caused a lot of stress to somebody because somebody was putting in a lot of time and energy um, into somebody here. And it's like it wasn't growing. And I feel like they definitely learned a valuable lesson to whatever this was. Clarify growth. Yeah, separation. Somebody's about to separate themselves from somebody here. It says time apart from your partners on the horizon, but I feel like somebody um, became enlightened here about a, a relationship or a partnership here. And um, we got reconciliation. So this could have been somebody that someone was dealing with in the past also too. And it's like they could be coming back around, but it's like with the three of swords, it's like there was some type of deception or even like a third party situation. It's like somebody was disappointed with this. But somebody could be wanting to like reconcile with somebody also too and like heal the connection. But I feel like somebody has like outgrown someone. It's like you they've moved on. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. Hopefully it resonated with somebody. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.